please just tell me what's on your mind cause I don't have time to figure it out figure it out we haven't been our best for love I think that we're just holding on to something that won't work out maybe we should walk away to say goodbye and go a separate way Shell's Glam Home. Well today guys I'm excited to share some of my kitchen updates. I recently undertook some projects and I'm going to start first of all with my range hood and I'm going to show you an inexpensive way on how to give it a makeover. I hope you enjoy. So as you can see, I have a stainless steel range hood. Now guys, I wanted to give this a little makeover. I originally wanted to do one of those vent hood covers where you do the shiplap at the top and then some stained timber around the bottom. However, my hubby wasn't really on board with that idea. And I don't blame him because he was frightened about, you know, drilling into our new kitchen. Our kitchen's very modern and new. And he agreed, though, that if I could find a way to DIY it without actually putting any screws into the kitchen, um, then I would be able to create a new look to the stainless steel range hood. So I was really excited a couple of weeks ago, guys, when I seen some new releases coming out at Kmart and I spotted something that I knew would be perfect to make over my range hood. So Kmart have just released this self-adhesive contact paper and I was particularly drawn guys to the oak look one. I loved the look of this. I knew it would give the illusion of timber on my range hood. Now in the stationery section, Kmart also carries this shiplap looking contact paper. It's a little bit cheaper and my original plan was to use this. Now I would love to see what it would look like as well. So this is an option for you guys. But what I actually decided on doing was because I'm absolutely loving the colour blue at the moment, I thought I'd give my range hood a completely unique touch with some beautiful wallpaper from Amazon. So here is that pretty blue wallpaper. Now this is a peel and stick wallpaper from Amazon and I had a fair bit left over from a previous project. So what I'm actually doing here is I'm just measuring up and cutting to size so that I can cut out squares to cover the top of the range hood. Guys, off camera, I give the range hood a really good clean down. Now, the thing is, you want to make sure there is absolutely nothing on your range hood before you're putting on any self adhesive contact paper. So I'm taking one of those wallpaper scrapers and I'm now at the top of my range hood and we're going to start at the very top.
So guys, now we're going to do each side. Now they do have air vents there. What I did on this particular side was I started from the bottom of the vent and then I added some more around the outside of the vent. Now I actually changed this when I did the opposite side. I actually placed it over the top of the vent and then cut around. But it's entirely up to you which way you do it. So guys, I was already excited. This blue just steals my heart. And I knew I'd made the right decision when it come to choosing this wallpaper. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that oak contact paper. Now, there's a couple of little challenges I have here. Number one being, guys, that the buttons for my range hood are at the very front. But what I'm showing you here is that I'm going to place it across the front first, and then we are going to cut around each button. to the buttons it was a little tricky guys but what I did is I just stuck everything down and then I got a craft knife and I just cut little holes where the actual buttons were Once I was happy with the results, I then went around each side. Now what I'm doing is I'm just trimming everything up and off camera I trimmed up all the excess from the top. goodness guys I can't tell you how excited I was when this all come together now this is a perfect DIY for somebody who needed a renter friendly DIY where you could just place this over your boring stainless steel range hood I love how unique it is guys I would love to see what it looked like with that shiplap contact paper but I just think this ties in so beautifully with the blue touches throughout my kitchen so another item that I made over in my kitchen guys was my DIY pantry barn door now I'll leave the video link down below when me and my hubby took our existing pantry door and give it a barn door makeover now it's always been white since then but today I decided to paint it this gorgeous blue See those little cups to the left hand side? I actually took these to be colour matched. So the colour of the cups is the colour of the door. So I'll leave the formula for you down below. Now another thing that we recently did was we had our windows and our doors painted white. Now here I'm showing you a clip of what my kitchen window used to look like but we recently just made them over with Julux white on white.
If you're new to my channel, I'd love to welcome you here. My name's Michelle, but most people call me Shell, and I'm the creator of Shell's Glam Home. I'm an Australian YouTuber who absolutely loves to share DIY projects, inspirational ideas, and home tours of my home. So if that's something that may interest you, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button so you can become a part of Shell's Glam Home family. So thank you so much for watching guys. I truly hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my kitchen updates. Now guys, don't forget next week, I'll also be sharing some more updates in my home and this time it will be my living room. So if that's something that may interest you, don't forget to tap your notification bell so you'll be aware when I upload next. So until next time, my friends, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.